What's up guys? Probably the most asked question I've received in the past like two or three weeks or whatever is how do I get bosses to appear in the beast plane more often? And uh, while it's not, there isn't really a technique to get a certain boss to appear as they're all random, there is a certain strategy that I use in the beast planes that some of you may already know of and you're probably already, you texted me, no, whatever, oh, you're uh, like probably already doing the strategy, you just don't know it, but basically what it is is that you, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom of the beast plane. And at the bottom of the beast plane, there's either going to be one of three quests. There's, there's going to be a 20 energy quest like you see here, or there's going to be a four energy quest that you see here, or there's going to be like um, like this right here, like a 22 energy quest, but with like um, a green thing instead of a brown thing. I just don't have that yet. Anyways, you want to leave this 20 energy quest at the bottom because if you compare like any other thing else, like for example, this one right here, this one, this one's only four energy and I'm pretty sure everyone knows right now though, beasts only appear as soon as you complete a, a, like a set of quests. So like say up here, I'll just complete this set of quests right here. Then now since I did that, there I don't know what the chance is, but there's like I don't know like a 20% chance a boss will appear at the very top. Like you know we can try it again and see if we get lucky, but probably not. If not, we can just keep doing it. I just put nine energy into each of these just for just to save time. Like there, for example, there's one, and you just switch to your boss guard, which is probably kind of wicked. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that now. But, um, we just fight it, and I think I actually beat it. I'm not sure though. It needs this one needs yeah it needs to use uh, that crush move. Now, as I said before, you want to leave the 20 energy quest on the bottom, and I'll I'll show you that. I'll just blitz through everything. The guard I use is double dragon or double dark dragon. It murders everything but rainbow fox. Like see, so yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys right here. It's just like two hits everything. Boom, done. Just go to the next one. I'm pretty sure this one like one hit kills it. Boom, done. You just keep going. Very quick with the double dark dragon, if you're fortunate enough to have it. Against the burgy, this one might take three hits. Yeah, it will. But it's better than like a wind dragon having to hit like so many times. Put double one assault on it, you'll blitz through everything. One hit kill, boom. Just keep doing the quests. Boom, there's another boss. What do I use for this one? I think I use Counter Blood Wolf. I'm not really sure. I haven't played this game in a while, so it's kind of rusty. <clears throat> yeah, I just beat it. Should be yeah, there we go. It's done. It's crucial not to learn Bloodlust on that. Then you switch back to the what we use, Double Dragon. Hit again. Don't think a ball showed up, but yeah, this one kills it in two hits, very quick. Okay, we're getting close to the end of the beast plane right now, before the quest resets. There's another boss, um, what do we use for that one? I think we still use, crashed. Um, anyways, uh, I'm pretty sure everyone knows it's kind of common sense, but it's... It's crucial to take out the boss whenever you can. Like, don't do other quests while the boss is active at the top of the beast plane list. Like, you always want to take out that that boss. Just simple as that. There was a time earlier when, like, I just put one energy into, like, a quest and a boss appeared. I don't really know if that was a glitch because it's not supposed to happen. But that happened, like, when beast plane first came out. <laughs> Anyways. What do we use? Crabfish. We use counter wicked, I think. I think it's time for a video where how to beat every boss in the beast plane. Pretty sure not many of you people actually used um, counter blood wolf. This one's a little rough because it doesn't always work. It needs to use that wrench move or whatever. It needs to hit me for like over 800 too. There we go. Then just switch back to that counter dragon. Now here's where I'll tell you where if you leave the 20 energy quest down below, it's it's more it's better because it's it's you're saving on energy and the more and or the less energy you spend, 
the more bosses can show up. It's just as simple as that. So like it says here, there's a four energy quest, then a 20 energy quest. If you complete the 20 energy quest, then this quest will remain active at the very bottom of the list when the quests reset. But if you complete these, this one will always stay at the bottom, like no matter what. And and that's what you want anyways, because like I said, if you're spending 20 energy just to get a boss to appear is not, it's, it's, it's bad. When up here you spend four energy just to get a boss to appear. That's, that's so much better. It's like five times less energy that you're spending just to get a boss to appear or to have a chance of getting the boss to appear. So we'll do it right here. So once I do that, boom, the quests are going to reset. There might be a boss on top. Don't, don't count on it, but no, there's not. But anyways, that's pretty much what you do. And I'll, I'll show you here too. Scroll all the way at the bottom, that 20 energy quest still in the bottom. Patrol and collect information. If you rewind the video, you'll still see that it is the same patrol and in, patrol and collect information, same money, same experience and all that. When I was grinding from level 62 to level 70, I left this quest at the bottom and the experience payout was still like 700 or something like that. Or I forget how much it is back then, but... It, it was fu it was funny because like every other quest was like you know 1500 1400 experience these were close to 3000 and then this one down here was like 700 so this quest will always stay at the bottom just don't touch it and you will get bosses to appear a little more frequently just depending on the chance ratio that you get so i hope you found this useful like i said you guys probably already do this like especially if you already have this quest down below and you just go top to bottom then this quest will always stay at the, at the bottom because you aren't going to skip this quest. And if there's only one quest remaining when the Beast Plains is like being done, then the quest will reset. So like if you have these two as your only two quests and you do this one, then the whole quest will reset and this one will stay at the bottom. Anyways, that's, I guess, if you want to call it a tip, that's just what I used to get to level 70. But um, I hope you guys can put this to use if you haven't already. And I hope you enjoyed. Take care.